one of my favorite guests. I uh, truly enjoy being on this man's show and podcast, The Adam Carolla Show, which is the most downloaded uh, program of its kind. And the movie Road Hard that Adam has written, directed, and starred in is in select theaters right now. Welcome back to the program, Adam Carolla. Good to see you, sir. Great to see you, my friend. And, and Rich, if uh, if you'd like to find it and it's not at a theater yes. in your town, you just go to adamcarolla.com and click the banner because it'll be on iTunes Fantastic. and ever, everywhere else. There you go. Uh, adamcarolla.com, also a place you can get all sorts of things of, of your from your oeuvre. Books, yeah. your podcast, everything. Mm -hmm. there's, there's just it's it's sort of like a one-stop Adam Carolla shopping. Yeah, in a way, it's the Amazon of Adam. And speaking of shopping, um, for the radio audience, I would like to describe what you have uh, arrived in. Uh, you have a uh, red scarf, sort of like a Kansas City Chief red scarf. Mm -hmm. um, tinted glasses, right? Tinted sort of purple yeah, non tinted glasses. Non-prescription. Yeah. yeah. And then what do we call this hat? What do we call this hat that you're wearing? Uh, this is... It's not a fedora, well, is Well, this is... Uh, I call it the convince douchebags who live in Hollywood I'm an artist hat. <laughs> but it's a little lengthy, so I should make an acronym an out of it. Yeah. yeah. C D D B. <laughs> yeah. In yeah. H would... I'd say it's too yeah. You're right. We have to work it yeah, out. We have to yeah. workshop that mm -hmm. one a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is this because of, you, you, of your, your new... Uh, part of your hyphen it that you're now an auteur along as a podcaster, comedian, writer, author? Well, yeah, I realize, like, honest truth, yes. in Hollywood, guys who do radio are lowest on the, you know, just sort of artistic ladder, lowest mm -hmm. rung on the artistic ladder. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, you can get from radio to TV. Uh, getting from TV to then starring in a movie, like my last movie, The Hammer's tough, but getting from acting in a movie to directing, yes. that's a bridge way too far. You need a scarf to make it through that chasm. And that's, then that's thus the scarf. That's thus the scarf, So yes. I, I, this is impr I, I need to put this in, in the back of my head. Should I ever, for some reason, choose this path? I don't know if I'll, I'll do that, but I need to figure that one out. Yeah, well, if you do, I'll lend you the scarf you and the TV <laughs> hat. I'm here with Adam Carolla, the movie uh, Road Hard in select theaters. Also go to adamcarolla.com, click mm -hmm. on the banner to find it if you're, it's not in a theater Rich, near you. Yes, sir. Sorry. You, you know I like to innovate on the show. I, I know. And, you know, not all of life, sorry, is football and sports. Yes, there's, there's, a, there's, there's other facets of life. There's yeah. a little room in there for family and fine dining. Uh, I have an invention I don't know if you're down with, but I'd like to bounce it off of you because I, I really trust your intellect. Okay, thanks. Uh, went out to dinner the other night, had the beet salad. Okay. Um, woke up the next morning. Look out. Uh, had my uh, little morning constitution there. Yeah. And thought I was dying. Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> the, beat, the beats. Right. Yeah, you think you're in They digest, are but they out. also, yeah, correct. Yeah, you think you have a parasite and that you have, you know, 24 hours to live. Something's I, I made my peace with my family. Uh, <laughs> I cruised the internet You've one made more your time film. You've and made your I made film. my film. And yeah. I read well. well, I realized I'd forgotten I'd eaten the beets the night before. It slipped your mind. Slip my mind, it slips everyone's mind. You go out, you have some beets, a couple glasses of wine. The next morning, you're not thinking about no. it. And out comes your innards. Yes. Here's the invention. Yes. Beats bracelet. It's kind of a live strong, mm -hmm. kind of Lance Armstrong y thing. Yeah. It's just a reminder. I like it. When you order the beets, yes. it comes with the bracelet. Here's when you get the lobster, it comes with the bib. Yes. You get the beets, it comes with the bracelet. And it's it's a little crimson bracelet. Mm -hmm. The waiter helps you put it on. It's just on there. You forget about it. You move on. But the next morning, oh yeah. I had beets. I had beets. So Maybe you run into another dude later on that day. Beets, beets, man. I've got it. I, I'm going to try and help because that's what I try to do. I, no, impro I improve. I spitball. Yeah. I, I improve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like people to leave me in a better place than, than I found them. Mm -hmm. You should call Dr. Dre. Ah, I got a different kind of beats. Beats. Yes. Beats bracelet. By, it, but just, beats by beats, but yeah. But say, doctor, it's, mm -hmm. it's B-E-E-T-S. Mm. Right, 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 right. By Dre. Yeah. What do you think? Or, I, I don't know or anyone you... who can call Dr. Dre. <laughs> That's what, I don't run in that circle. Can I, Dr. Don't, Drew I don't even have rims on my SUV. I, I don't even, yeah, I, I don't, I, there's no way I can contact Dr. Dre. You mean Dr. Drew? Watching. Dr. Drew? Don't you all think, doctors know each other's phone numbers? You, you think Dr. Drew and Dr. Dre and Dr. John and Dr. J, they would all have <laughs> some sort of connection, yeah. Phil, but they don't. Yeah. Uh, the, the other thing I was thinking about, uh -huh. now this is for the, where's my camera? Um, right here. 
Okay, this is. I'm going to take my glasses off, and I'm going to do it in a oh, way. Did you really just put them suggest, on? Wait a minute. Well, I got. I can't oh, I take see, them sorry. off. I don't. Oh, I thought you were doing. Oh, I thought you. Rich. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Why? Wow. Okay. First off, here's how you know I mean business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beat farmers. You've done the red beet, the purple beet. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. We know what that does to our interests. Now you've done the golden beet. Could that do the same for our innards? You'd be like that goose that lays the golden eggs. The next day, you get up, mm -hmm. Jack and the Beanstalk. That would be awesome, you know, mm -hmm. to step up. I don't know if we need the bracelet for that. Let's leave that just to be a pleasant surprise. But you get the golden beet salad, yes. and the next morning, <laughs> wow, where's my leprechaun? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, don't tell me you guys with your fancy science and your geneticizing yeah. of everything couldn't work out the same. It's the same beat math as the red beat. We just do it for the golden beat, a beautiful pot of gold. Leave it for your wife, you know? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, is what it would say. Oh, okay, so when you order the golden beet salad, yeah. uh -huh. you get the little you're welcome note to leave on top of the, the toilet tank, you know, on your, you know, before you leave for work. Now, you're not just Chip Kelly spitballing here. This is part of a plan. And it's just, to, just so, you know, just so the, the, the audience understands, um, you don't just choose this show to unveil this willy-nilly. You, you looked at the metrics and, and confirmed that The Rich Eisen Show is the choice of golden beet farmers everywhere. Well, what I found out- You were talking out, directly yeah, through my, to the audience. Yeah, and, and not only beet farmers and golden beet farmers, but consumers mm -hmm. of oh, beets, yeah. very. <laughs> that I, I didn't even know that about my own demographic. Well, Dan Patrick comes in about 9.7%. <laughs> You're into double digits uh, yeah, yeah. squarely. You're wow. like 22.6% in terms know that. of your audience. Now, yes. what I like, and when I found out about your audience when I was researching this whole beet thing, yes. is they do love beets, they hate goat cheese. They'll often order the beet salad, just ignore the goat that cheese. And no I was sense. like, I, I didn't think I could be in, any more in love with yes. an audience. But now the audience that orders the beet salad and completely ignores the goat cheese. What do, do you need any sort of apparatus? Uh, again, I'm just spitballing here. Uh, when you eat asparagus, do mm. you need for the next morning? Mm. Or is it just a different olfactory situation? That's interesting. That you don't need anything to wear uh -huh. to remind you of what you've eaten the night before. You may, and uh, the asparagus, you don't have to wait until the following day. I mean, that, that stuff kicks in. Yeah, what is up with that? I, I don't know, but I used to eat dinner and oftentimes eat asparagus 7, 8 in the evening yes. and then go do Love Line with Dr. Drew and we'd be standing <laughs> next to each other at the same urinal and or different urinals. Yeah, well, but, you know. yeah, I know that's Love Line you know was an saying. innovative program. Yeah, yes. And all of, in an empty bathroom, an empty radio station at 11 o'clock, at night and yeah. I just hear him start bellowing about me eating asparagus. <laughs> um, I would say this. Yes. Uh, there should be an asparagus hat. And when you order it at the restaurant, it's a, it's a cone-shaped oh. hat. It's a green, it's got a little spire on the top. It's yeah. fun, you know, it's sure. like it's your birthday. It's like a and cheese it's a head. It's like yeah, and so when you right. pull up to the trough, uh -huh. you know, the guy's got the asparagus hat on. You slide a few <laughs> slots. You know, you leave a couple berths open. You have to. You know, whether you it's at the airport or it's at the restaurant, the guy just had the asparagus salad, and yes. now he's heading in to do a little offloading there. You <laughs> slide into the handicap stall. Yeah, the asparagus hat. <laughs> And the Beats bracelet. I'd like to see the guy who's rocking both of them. Yeah. That's that, my kind of guy. Yeah. He's, well, he eats well. Uh -huh. He eats well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he eats, it's a well-rounded meal. <laughs> Adam Carolla is here. Road Hard is a movie in select theaters. Go to adamcarolla.com. We're back in 60 seconds with more. I do want to chalk Rams football with you, because nobody's talking about the Rams side of this trade. Yeah. And also, your idea on what the competition committee should take under advisement this year, since they went ahead and did your higher goalpost rule last year. Mm -hmm. Use right. this force for good instead yeah. of evil. We are back in 60 seconds. Welcome back to The Rich Eisen Show. I'm here with auteur, director, writer, and star of the movie Road Hard in select theaters already right now or available on adamcarolla.com. 
uh, Adam Carolla here uh, on the program. Save time and money by downloading True Car's mobile app. Configure the new car you want, then see what others paid for it and lock in guaranteed savings in True Car certified dealers in your area. Most users save over three grand less than MSRP. Save time, save money, and never overpay. Download the True Car app today. Uh, Chris Brockman posed the uh, poll question on richeisenshow.com to Adam Carolla. Adam please. Carolla, would you go to your rival team in free agency? Yes or no? Yes, I'm, uh, I'm all about the money. For so sure. you would. You're mm -hmm. not like there's no way I've been I've been a, a it, fan it, of this team. Mm -hmm. I can't go to the other team. I think it's just game on. I mean, we all grew up. I knew the whole infield for the Dodgers because mm -hmm. the infield from the Dodgers didn't change from the time I was in the sixth grade. Garvey, the I, Lopes. Yeah, the Russell say. say yeah. I was, it was literally, and it's those formative years, it's that, you know, sixth grade to graduating high school, mm -hmm. so it's the same group of guys. And, uh, you know, when Garvey goes to the Padres, it's like, oh, it's unthinkable. Now it's just, it's just game on, right? It's game on. So you would have, so would you have to change your, your driver's license middle name from Lakers to Clippers? Would you do that? Uh, or is I would, the line at the DMV that too long to even do that? I, I think I think you only get to commit forgery once at the DMV. <laughs> now you did that. do that, correct? You did actually do that. Well, one, I, one I don't I don't have a middle name, so it's important to start off without a middle name. Mm -hmm. By the way, how fast was the bloom off the rose at the Corolla House where they didn't even get to the middle name? They didn't. So you didn't. Know, you were born without a middle name. Without a middle name. Okay. And the. And, and I, I guess we're too poor. I don't. I don't know how it works. But at a, at a certain point, I got the worst answer you could ever get as an adult from a from a parent, which mm -hmm. is about ten years ago. I said to my dad, I said, uh, Dad, what's the story? How come no middle name? And mm -hmm. he went, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that is the worst answer ever and then he said did you ask your mom and I said no and he said well I don't know ask your mom and then I asked my mom and she went I don't know did you ask your dad <laughs> and I thought wow you guys were bored you were bored with your kids it slipped when their they were mind. still zygotes <laughs> Now everyone has five middle names. Yeah, no. Oh, it's little Haley, Aston, Sky. So then how did you, let, let, walk me through this again. So you went ahead to the DMV well, and. When you have no middle name and, and parents that are, you know, so uh, laissez faire <laughs> that they do not even take the time to give you a middle name yeah. and you go to school with kids that have like three middle names, that box between your first name and your last name on any official form mocks you. Yes, it does. The parents didn't love you. <laughs> you got nothing here. Even, even its little cousin, the initial box, gets into the mix. I'm just a little initial box, but you got nothing. <laughs> Don't even put a zero. People think your name Oscar. Don't even do that. Yeah. No, you got nothing. So I was mocked my whole life by that empty box. I'd mm -hmm. have to jump from my first name. Woo! over to my last name Can't have and at some point I was at the DMV and I was like 24 and the Lakers were in the middle of a run and I was like screw it I'm dubbing myself Lakers and I just wrote it into that box and it showed up on your driver's license it, it's on my uh, mortgage papers and documents it really? official papers. it's on everything is it still on your driver's license right now yeah do you have it on you? It's uh, my. It's in my car. If someone wants to, no, make we a, can't make, have that. Make a run out and get it. But it's, can... So you are Adam Lakers Corolla, according to the state of California. I, I am, and it, it'll be on my tombstone, my urn. I'm hoping for a mausoleum, but I know it's a little lofty. <laughs> yeah, if someone wants to run out to my car, they can they can get it. It's in the left pocket, the door. I'm here with Adam Lakers Corolla. We, we're having someone on that. Keys right are sitting on the table in the back, there next to a little bindle of something that's not Coke. <laughs> <laughs> or I shouldn't even say anything. It's just a bindle. No, you need it's to not... say that because that is security that we just sent to go yeah. get uh, Adam Lakers Corolla here on the Rich Eisen Show. So Sam Bradford, who the Rams have been trying to uh, use w for at varying degrees of non-success because of his knee injury, you trade him for Nick Foles. What do you think as a Rams fan about this trade? Nick Foles coming in from <clears throat> Philly and Sam Bradford shipped out. I, I'm fine with that because I, th I think the greatest curse you could have as a team or like as a fan is the perpetual 500 QB mm. with a bunch of upside that's never realized and then you blink your eyes and like nine seasons have gone by. Right. Like, I mean, I had it with Bradford, I think about four or five years ago they were playing, I don't know, I think it was like Seattle or San Francisco for like a playoff. It was Seattle, like, it was the last game of the season. season. 
How many points did the Rams score? It's almost zero. I know. I, it was like z zero. They, so I'm like, what do we – so what you want is you want sort of Ryan Leaf complete, just flame out, first season, <laughs> bust, moving on, or you want, oh, my God, we just found Tom Brady. But we, you don't – uh, that's either one is fine. Yeah, you know. In between mm -hmm. is, you know, what's Bradford? I mean, what are we on? Season seven with uh, sub 500? Uh, yeah, well, the 2010 is when you drafted him, so it's 2015 now. It's been a while. Uh, and, and we, what are we in the win and loss column? Not good. Right. So I, w I would I would rather mm -hmm. thank you. Oh, by the way, this feels a little light, buddy. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a little handed. bit light. Normally this our security is, uh, yeah. doesn't have a sticky finger. Well, this no, one's so this felt okay, this felt well, make light. Make sure if we're holding it up, let's make sure we're not uh, sending putting out any crucial information. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm holding this up now for the audience. I don't know if we can. I'm holding it up. If I can show, I'm covering his address. Here you go, Casey. Can you see that at all? He's, he's Zoom in. There. there it is. Adam Corolla, Adam Lakers. Can you see that? Casey's the best one we got here, too. There it is. <laughs> there you are. Unbelievable. Yeah. So you, here, why don't I hand this off to somebody else to try and make sure that we got. Yeah. In, in the meantime. <laughs> anyway, the white powder that's on that. Yeah. Not used. Was not is not cocaine. It's okay. okay. Yeah, and you know what? Probably again, it's probably stupid to even you're, talk. You're just, whatever white powder comes off of that, just it is what it is. But it's not cocaine. That it was not used to cut up cocaine. Is what you know what? Why are you even talking about this? What are we talking about Bradford? Yeah, I know we were talking about Bradford. And not. And, and not and, used to draw lines of cocaine. That's what I'm saying. Rams here in Los Angeles. You get tickets if Rams. Oh, oh, if they they if they come back. Yeah, it'd be fun, right? You tell me. I you're don't know. A, All I know Rams, is that you're not a Rams fan they, because they, were, they used to be here. I need a good dog out of these people. What does that mean? The Dodger dog I is, see what you're is the worst hot dog ever constructed. It's actually the worst formation of meat ever constructed. It's not only the worst stadium dog, it's the worst <laughs> meat shaped meat has ever tasted. <laughs> it, 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 spam laughs yes. at Dodger dogs. They're horrible. Did you they see? need a casing, they need a snap. So here's what I will do. Yes. Where's my camera? Right there. Okay. Where's my glasses? I don't know, you're okay, put your glasses back on. Yes. Listen, Rams off. franchise in uh, Georgia Frontieri, she's, whatever you're calling yourself these long days. Gone. She's long gone. Stan Kroenke. I'm sorry. on a roll. Okay, I'm on a roll, <laughs> sorry. I, will come out and buy season tickets if you make a good Chicago-style Chicago dog, and maybe a St. Louis-style hot dog with a nice casing on it, has a good snap, I will be there, but you must dub it the Ram Rod. <laughs> See, now, that's why I want to point this out to you, too. Hold on. Coach it, Malavasi, sorry. are you no, listening? That's not when him I'm on, oh, sorry. When I'm on a roll, sorry. Dave, don't jump in. It's, it's rich. <laughs> okay. Malavasi, you yeah. know what to do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, it's not, it's not the coach. You it's hand that definition. rock to Wendell Tyler, and you let him run, baby. <laughs> you let him run. And, and I would have asked you about the, the, the NFL rules, but we're, we're running out of time. So I, because you are an ideas man, as you just pointed out. Mm. And as you are dressed appropriately for it, mm. this is an actual uh, hot dog that's being sold by the uh, Kansas City Royals minor league affiliate in Wilmington, Delaware. Wow. Made by the Krispy Kreme. That's an actual hot dog. For the radio audience, we'll describe it. It's raspberry jelly on top of the hot dog, bacon on top of the raspberry jelly that is wrapped in a Krispy Kreme donut bun. They're looking for a name for that, for real. This mm -hmm. is no joke. Mm -hmm. First blush, Adam Carolla. Widowmaker. <laughs> <laughs> you eat three of those, you're gone, and the insurance will pay out fully. You know, insurance doesn't pay for suicide, but three the of those, you're gone, your kids are going to an Ivy League school. <laughs> you look, you were bald and fat anyway, it's time yeah. to move on. There you go. Mm -hmm. The Krispy Kreme Widowmaker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As dubbed by Adam Carolla, the uh, star, writer, director, and auteur. Uh, that uh, brings you the movie Road Hard that you could see in select theaters and adamcarolla.com. And you say iTunes? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. iTunes, iTunes as well. Th there's just not enough mediums to contain you. There just uh, there aren't enough. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam Carolla Show podcast also available uh, for all of your consumption. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you, man. That's Adam Carolla here on the Dave Eisen Show that returns in a moment.
There it is. There it is. Adam Lakers Corolla. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On audience. <laughs>